Are you right, mate? Can I get some uh, King Rizzlers? Silver 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 YouTube is going on. It's your boy Keezy, and it's me and Keezy. And in today's video, we're going to talk more about Evisu. Of course, what else do we talk about on this channel? I always say that, but they happen to have this like really random collab with Palace, and I feel like I need to give my two cents on it. So, let's get it. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna make this quick because I've already chatted with so many people about this. I've had over like 30, 40 messages uh, and tags included of people tagging me in this um, Palace Evisu thing. I still don't know enough. I mean, I've seen the video, which is the trailer, which I'll show you here of like the, the clothing and all that kind of stuff that they're doing. And then also they're paying homage to like the London streetwear scene because I guess Evisu played a huge role in the London scene way back in the 90s, like late 90s, early 2000s, no different than around the world. So I think that aspect of it is actually cool. But when I first heard the news, I was a little negative because I was like, oh great. Like now it's going to be a hypebeast brand. That's what it feels like. I was like, okay, now it's going to be a hypebeast brand. And it's going to start to make me feel as if like, since people that are going to jump into it don't understand it and I've been to it for so long, I'm gonna have to throw my Visu to the side and I'm gonna have to start messing with another brand because if if we, we all start, start looking the same, same like, like that's, that's, that's gonna, gonna be ass. ass. Like this same feeling I had when we saw all those pictures of Travis Scott starting to wear all the multi-pocket Visus, and then people were like, oh my God, Visu is back. And then you go on Grailed and then you see someone post a post saying Travis Scott Visus. Like, like, okay, like, like let's, let's um, um Let's, let's let's get ourselves together here, you know what I'm saying? But before I turn the camera on, I told myself not to be bitter about this because we don't have any control over any of this. Evisu as a brand could do whatever they want. In fact, they've done collaborations in the past with questionably hype beast type of brands. One of them that was pretty recent was the Bear Brick collaboration, which, which was, was a fail, fail, if I were to say the least. The design on it was like an okay design. And also I think they went on sale after a while, nobody really bought them. In fact, most of the collaborations that you see from Evisu, they don't even turn out that well. Like people don't, people don't really bat an eye when it comes to Evisu collaborations, mainly because it's dead here in the US. Maybe not in like China and Japan, maybe that's a different story, but here in the US, When's the last time you ever heard anyone, first of all, talk about Evisu other than bringing up Travis Scott name around it and or talk about in a collaboration with Evisu, right? So potentially this collab, I mean, unless people are super hyped on it and their fans love it to death, then their fans will go for it. I did find it interesting that it's going to be sold on both websites. They said that it's going to be sold on the Palace website and also on the Evisu International website, which is another topic I wanted to bring up. So there's two sides to Evisu or the way I look at it is that Evisu has their, their Japan side where you can go strictly to Japan and you can only buy it in Japan. If you're a resident in Japan, then you can buy it. But if you're outside, you just can't have that like exclusive part of like the authentic Evisu um, if you're not from Japan. But if you do want Evisu and you live outside of Japan, then you can go on evisu.com, which is their international website. And that website is the one that is doing the collaboration with Palace. And um, I'm... I, like I no longer feel some type of way about it because evisu.com does a lot of questionable designs. Let's not even talk about collaborations. They'll do a lot of questionable designs. That that is that website caters to the international market. It's not it's not like that true Japanese raw denim stuff that you get. It's a it's kind of a filtered evisu that you're getting and that is the side of the brand that is collaborating with Palace. So that's one that I'm not really too mad about. And two is that uh, I actually flipped my decision that this actually could be a good push. You know, it is what it is. It, if you think about it, Evisu started off in the Hypebeast realm with all those other Hypebeast brand names in bet way back in the day with like G-Shocks and Obey and Supreme and Bape. And then all those brands died. And then once those brands died, you would have thought that Evisu would never come back and get into that realm. But if Palace, even though it's doing stuff in London, ends up opening up that door back for Evisu in the US, it is what it is, man. I can't be mad at it because I don't, I don't work at Evisu. <laughs> I'm just a fan, you know what I'm saying? Like people message me as like I'm some Evisu archive dictionary. Like I don't know all this stuff, man. People text me photos of Travis Scott wearing Evisus and like, which pair is this? I'm like, dude, like I couldn't tell you, man. Like I just, I, I just love to buy this stuff. I don't know everything about it, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, anyways, I think potentially it could be a good push. We don't know. 
we we'd, we'd have to see i think it drops on april 7th 6th we we all need to see what happens on that day if it like completely sells out how many do they make right do they mass produce this thing do they make it exclusive is it really cheap is it super expensive all of those things play as a factor as far as how well this drop of a collaboration will do for them. So keeping this short, I think the last thing I will leave everyone with, what, I, what I'm taking from this collaboration, whoever's at the design team with Ivisu and whoever's at the design team with Palace understands that the late 90s and early 2000s look is in full force. Because why else would Palace and Ivisu come to terms with making this piece right here? This piece is like a holy grail for Ivisu heads. I used to own them back in the day, the other one, not this one, of course, this one hasn't come out yet, but the other one, okay, which I will show here. Yeah, that piece, I've owned like two of those way back, long time ago, and I would love to buy another pair, but evidently Travis Scott ended up wearing them, making the prices go way up, and now people selling them for like $350, $400, which, which is, is ridiculous, ridiculous okay? okay? Not, not paying, paying that. that. Gut tells me that the designers in the room thought it was a good idea to use that because one is pays homage and two they know that people are into buying 90s and 2000s looks and that right there is pretty much like the epitome of the early 2000s look i mean i couldn't say that any better anyways with that said i would love to hear your comments below and also what are your thoughts do you think this collaboration is a good thing do you think it's a bad thing i mean putting the collaboration aside do you even think it looks good Anyways, closing this out, make sure you guys and girls keep it locked right here for all your latest information from clothing, music, to culture. It is your Evisu spokesperson. I'm out. Peace. Enter, auto trader, skibbity, the supplier, Laguna, Toyota, Emma to Salika, Cavalier, Curly Era, Astro of Fiesta, Enter, my base cruiser, dealing with your matter, no Skoda, Strada, on the Tech Master. Easy, put this foot down, yeah? <laughs> in what the Bible, what the bitch up, money, 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 the mind, the letter, get it, 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 get like, like, if you try to cut corners and you put costumes on to do shit, yeah, you just, you gonna get straight, but at what cost, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And how you feel. When you do this shit for you, 100% for you, you can grind and stay up for five or six days and not really be tired because it's for you, you, you.